So Amber Turd apparently can't afford to pay Johnny Depp. And yet, she's flying on a private jet. That rhymed. That's right, I'm a poet. And I know it. Uh, no, in all seriousness, yes. Uh, she's been spotted first time in public since the trial. And flying private jet. Now, why is that important? Well, you've got to piece a few things together here. Uh, and it's a long line of very disingenuous statements from not only her, but also her legal team. I mean, Elaine Bredehoft did interviews just the day after the trial, spouting off a whole bunch of atom nonsense. Uh, and part of that nonsense was, no, of course she can't. She's flat broke. She can't afford to pay. No, she's got no money. While she was staying in a 22 and a half grand a month mansion with tennis courts during the trial. And now she's flying on a private jet post-trial. Interesting. Interesting stuff. But remember, ladies and gents, this is the same woman who uses pledge and donate synonymously. So it's not a stretch that she would say, well, I'm broke, when actually what she's saying is she's rich and she's just using them synonymously. I mean, they're the same, aren't they? So, uh, yeah. Amber Heard first sighting since the Johnny Depp verdict climbing out of a private jet. Now, I think this also goes some way, I think, genuinely to, you know, who's bankrolling her? Because if she doesn't have the money, someone does. You know, well, there she is, all looking all happy. Oh, yeah, I'm Amber Turd, loving life. So she emerged for the first time since being on the losing edge uh, of Johnny Depp defamation trial, trading a private jet for a chauffeured car. Now, these are incredibly expensive things. They're not cheap. They're seriously costly things. Um, and also, might I add, I think what's... what. You know, what's perhaps really important about this is that they're not essential. She doesn't have to do... She doesn't have to fly this way. She can fly other ways. So, for someone that's broke, flying on a private jet, taking a chauffeur... I mean, what? And we know she can drive. Apparently, she drove herself to Coachella that time, remember? Where she did all those shrooms and, you know, laughed and joked with Johnny's security that she left a shit in the bed. Just a prank, bro. Um, so, I mean, this stuff's not... You don't have to do this. Why are you flying on a private jet, love? So, the actress popped up Friday at an airfield in Washington, D.C., where she climbed down the stairs of a private plane and was ushered into a waiting luxury SUV. Amber's travelling party is at least four deep, including her sister, Whitney Henriquez. And we're told earlier in the day she'd been in New York City for meetings, but caught a flight from New Jersey to D.C. Uh, and then made her way back to Virginia. So, I mean, that's a lot of travelling. Very expensive. So it's interesting to see Amber flying private, because remember, she's been ordered to pay Johnny uh, $8.35 million dollars. And her lawyer, Elaine Bredehoft, says she got no money. She can't pay the judgment. Now, you know what? That's it, 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 it just seems to me very disingenuous. I would say it's another lie. One of the many. This woman does seem to be a compulsive liar. Just cannot help herself. And money really does seem important to this woman. Now, I, you know, I, 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 like most people, try to live within my means. You know, money is, to me, money's fun tokens, right? Like, it's something which I earn to go and have fun with. I can do the things uh, that I want to do in my life. It's not used to maintain a status. Like, I wouldn't see flying a private jet as, a, as, as fun, you're just getting from one place to another. You know, fun is going off and doing fun things. But this woman seems very, you know, focused on that status symbol that money brings her. It's very, very, it seems very, you know, integral to her lifestyle. Um, I just, it's, it's baffling to me. 
Now, of course, Amber would probably have a tough time flying commercial these days, even if she was in first class, because there's a lot of depth fans out there. I don't think that's an excuse for paying ridiculous sums of money for chauffeurs and private jets. They're really expensive. They are not cheap stuff. But the other comedic element here is, well, who did Amber meet? Oh, who's this? Oh, isn't that her disgraced PR manager? Is it David Shane? Here we have him here. Uh, the one which had to exit the trial. Uh, couldn't attend the trial any longer. Couldn't watch the trial any longer because he was battling his own Me Too allegations. <laughs> You couldn't make this stuff up. Amber Heard changes mid-trial. Crisis PR firms. She, she, she goes from the best in the business to someone who's uh, been accused of Me Too elements. You just couldn't make this up. Now, obviously, we don't know anything about David Shane and the Me Too allegations. We've got no idea. But the point is, it's very, very funny. And you couldn't make this stuff up. It's very, very comedic. So we have that. To me, it's just insanity that this woman can spout off a bunch of nonsense of, I've got no money, I've got none of this. Stays in a 22 and a half grand a month mansion. Is flying private jet chauffeur. It's all a status. It seems to be, you know, it's like a disease for these individuals. Like, I must have this. I must live this lifestyle. This is important to me. Shocking. Shocking stuff. And we did hear as well, and you can kind of see it. You know, I think that they've included a little bit here. Oh, you know, Johnny Depp's lawyer says Amber uh, words did not, you know, words did her in, not social media. So said that. But then there's also the other element that they've been hy hyping up here about Johnny Depp's lawyers, where apparently it's, that it's not about the money for Johnny. And, you know, he, he could let her off. I sincerely hope he doesn't. Don't let her off the money. You won't even look like the bigger person by doing that. That will be the argument that the media wants to push to make him drop the charge. You know, drop the, not the charges, but the money that he's owed. I hope he doesn't. Because flying private jet is not indicative of someone being broke. Well, maybe. And an idiot. Or someone bankrolling her, which means she ain't broke. Elon Musk, perhaps. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out my Teespring store. Supporting the channel via this way does go a long way. But also, not only that, you do get to wear some awesome merch. These are one-of-a-kind designs designed for me by my graphic designer. We, of course, have our Clown World line, which is uh, in mugs, hoodies, t-shirts. We've got Space Jeebus. Uh, and then for something a little bit different, we, of course, have right down at the bottom right here, we have our Pulsar GTIR. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out and supporting my second channel, which is Car Nonsense. This is a vlog and car channel. You can find links to this in the description box along with my Teespring. Please do consider supporting.